sites in the 0, 1, and 2 range are just really beginning to establish some level of visibility. Here's a few selected websites. CNN is a 10. Yahoo.com is a 9. The Dallas Morning News is a 7. Ebby Halliday, which is a local realtor here in the North Texas market, a big realtor, is a 4. Net offer is a page rank of 3. Things that affect page rank are things like the number of Google Plus links coming into your website from other Google Plus pages, the number of links coming in from other websites, the page rank of the links from the other websites that are linking to you, the relevance. If you have, if you're an attorney and you have um, page, you have uh, links coming in from bakeries and gas stations. That's probably not going to help you as much as if you have links coming in from other law firms and from. Um, uh, colleges or universities, uh, colleges of law, you know, or law schools. Uh, the number of visitors, the number of videos, um, these are all things that, that impact page rank. If you're trying to get onto page one of Google, your job is to manipulate those variables. So fundamentally, what you're looking at are if this is your website and you want it to go higher on page rank of Google, you've got two major factors, traffic and links. Traffic is broken into three sections. You've got direct traffic, link traffic, and search traffic, which is a form of link traffic. Direct traffic is this. Again, back to Disney. If I asked you to go get me some information on Mickey Mouse, you'd probably just get your computer, type Disney.com, and go get me information about Mickey Mouse. Disney.com gets a lot of direct traffic because people don't have to look it up to know what Disney.com is. Same thing is true of CNN.com and a number of other websites abcnews.com. There's a number of them that are very powerful because they have high top of mind awareness. That traffic, direct traffic to a website is given the greatest value because there's no link or search engine involved. Links are from other websites in, which is powerful but not as powerful as direct traffic, but it is more powerful than search engine traffic. If somebody can only find you by typing in a search term and getting you off of a list on page one or two of a search engine and then finding your website, that's not as good as one of these other methods. So traffic counts, but it is measured in a little bit more granularity. Websites, links from websites make a difference too. So if you have Google Plus page rank four coming in, um, you know if you have if you have Google Plus links coming in, that's good. And Google Plus pages have page rank. If you have websites with page rank two coming in, that's good. If you have links from Facebook and or Twitter coming in, and people are sharing your content. That's good. So links from other websites coming into your website, both the quantity and the authority of those websites, um, has a, a, a positive impact.